Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 35 of Need for Speed Underground 2. And in this episode, we'll return to the Explore mode because we are continuing on with the game. Incredible. I know, right? So, let us go pick ourselves out a new car because, again, I want to make sure I use all of the cars that were new specifically to this game uh, because I went the wrong way. Apparently. But yeah, using using all the cars is fun because it's like part of the game to use different cars. Even though the game doesn't want you to use more cars, it wants you to use the same car the whole game and just keep upgrading it apparently because you don't have money to do anything else. Best Buy. Strange spot for a Best Buy. Yo dog, action, action, action. Been action, to action, action. There is a lot of races in the airport area, my friend. Alright, what do we got in here? What is Le Nou? Welcome to the delivery room. Aluminum and steel isn't crafted any better than this. Why does she randomly tell me like things about this? Alright. So use the Mustang. I've not used the Lancer yet. And actually, I guess the Impreza would be the only other one I haven't used. So we could actually uh, do a few URL races to unlock some more cars too. Probably, maybe. I guess the last thing I could do could possibly be the... Uh, uh, yeah, upgrade this car by the way. Could be uh, fucking... Uh, the other things. The stars on the map. Leave those for the, like the end. And uh... <laughs> eh, understandable. No, I'm not saying you should junk the car. I just said it's... I'm just... Yeah. It seems like too much money. But, you know. Whatever. New topic. Uh... I know, yeah, I wish, like, things would transfer and, or you could sell things and get money back or something. That would be nice, but, uh, not something that they thought of in this game, apparently. Um, alright, let's, uh... Fucking... I don't know, I don't have much money. <laughs> Still. Alright, let's make sure I have at least decent nitrous. Suspension puts control back into your hands. Yeah. So an upgrade. Sure does. Save those corners. Do that. Um, do a little bit of that. And we'll put tires. Okay. Actually, better turbo. Oops. <sighs> What's next? Who's next? I could go do that seek seeker race or whatever it is, a hidden race. That's right over here. I can do that real quick. Oh jeez. I believe it's right up here on the right, right? Right, right? Oh jeez. Oh, I didn't get any kind of thumbnail of the Mustang, but oh well, doesn't matter. Is it right here? No, it's right there. I miss! Wait, is there a race over there too? No. Hello, sprint race. Soup! RX-8. Me and a GTI. Very nice. Stick to the road this time. We're gonna play it safe. Because that is fun, playing it safe. Ah, 
Oh god. Evo, don't turn. It don't turn. I just wanna get this game done. That would be pretty cool. There's still so much more to do, though. Like I said, only 21 hours in, you know? Only 21. Oh, jeez. Is that an alternate path? I guess it is. I don't think I've ever actually driven up that. Oh, shit. Ow. Yeah, I mean, I still haven't checked that to even see if that's the way the game works. Uh, because you can go back and do old races. I got four grand off that. That's actually not bad. Oh, it's because it's a hidden race, yeah. Uh, got two. That's fucking drag races. Uh, oh, one's not even a drag race, actually. Um... That's everything down here, it seems. So I guess we'll move on to the airport area. I should actually check, like, between episodes if, uh... You can go back and do the restart glitch still to get more money off of old races. Yep, just gotta remember the mix. Remember to restart, for sure. Take your iPhone 13. I'm not surprised, because that definitely seems like an Apple thing to do. Still don't think I want to... I don't know. I would like to get a new phone at some point. Uh, do we do... You know what, fuck it. Let's do uh, a URL. Unlock some, some new cars. See what else there is to unlock. I don't even know what actual cars there are to like left to unlock in this game. Cause there's well there's a skyline, R34. There's I can't remember anything other than the skyline. Cause I have, I think, almost everything else unlocked. But there are still oh, multiple more uh URL races. So we'll see. If it's just the R34, I am not going to care, because that was an Underground 1, and I used it in Underground 1. But then again, that only leaves one more car to use, so... But, there's also more cars I haven't used that are, like, lower or uh, earlier unlocks, so... I don't know. We'll see. I just want to get this game done. But yeah, phone's, uh... Don't know much about phones, but we kind of like to get a new one that doesn't overheat. Because iPhone 10 do like to overheat a lot. Simply by having Discord open in a call on Discord and nothing else. It's great. Good phone. It also was giving me SIM card errors like two weeks ago. Never figured out what that was because it stopped doing it. But uh, I think this phone is reaching the end of... Apple actually being nice to it. <laughs> They're just going to keep updating stuff, and it's going to be like, oops, your phone just bricks itself now, or whatever. And I'm like, nope, I don't want to deal with that. So, I'll look in to see, like, what's, like, uh, what's reliable. Because iPhones haven't been bad, but they do like to slow down a lot over time. I'm sure Androids do, too, but... Uh... I don't think they do it as bad. I don't think they, like, require updates like iPhone does. Or as much as iPhone does. Plus it's Apple. You know? Fucking Apple. Samsung. Hmm. Gonna have to see what, like, what the options are even. Because I... Like I said, I don't know anything about phones. 
really, and I have not been paying attention to what's been coming out besides, I guess the iPhone 13 is out now. That's like the only thing I actually know. <laughs> I don't use my phone. I, I mean, I use it to talk on Discord every now and then. I use it to look at like Discord and Twitter and stuff. And uh, I use it to like call people sometimes. It sometimes takes pictures. So that's uh, all I need a phone to do. Charging ports, that's also an issue I've had with iPhones. The charging ports getting fucked up and also cables getting fucked up. And also cables being really expensive. I think right now I have... No, I have three working cables for my iPhone. Oh. That's kind of spooky. I do use my phone to watch YouTube sometimes. If it's very, very rare though, I would much rather do it on my computer, usually. Oh, they've actually went to USB-C finally? Oh, okay. That's better, at least. Seems like everything's going to USB-C, which is actually kind of nice, considering that you don't have to buy 10 different cables for, like, a few different, uh, things. Nice to be able to just use, diff use the same cable. It's not even micro-USB, it's a lightning adapter, or lightning cable set for the iPhones. Micro USB is also not good. I have had many micro USBs and things that use micro USBs uh, crap out on me. So I know the pain. At least you can find micro USBs for cheap prices too. Like I said, lightning cables are dummy expensive, like no matter where you find them or no matter who makes it. Oh jeez, a little too early on that. Anyways, random note, speaking of, uh, I mean, not recently, but speaking of movie night last night that I went to, we watched three movies. Uh, the last one I don't, I don't even want to say what it is, because it was, ooh, it was not, not, uh, it was a movie of its time, and that time was the early 2000s, and oh boy. Uh, but the other two movies were good. I don't remember the f name of the first one. It was an anime movie, Japanese, uh, subbed and whatever. And it was pretty cool. Uh, and then the second movie was Up, and Up made everybody cry, so <laughs> it was great. Honestly, all my iPhones actually still work. It's just the one that I have that's the newest one that works, you know, the best and actually has the most compatibility with things is uh likes to overheat so but yeah i had a 4s that works fine still i have a 6s that works fine still and i actually use it to record audio for uh, real life video sometimes and then i have the 10 i just don't have a need for an iphone i think i don't really use anything like iphone specific I bought music, but I could literally just download that and convert it to a different file format and still use it on a different, like, Android phone, so... Don't really have much of a reason to keep iPhones around. Especially with how expensive they are. Because, like, this one was, like... I know it was, uh, there was, like, a payment plan for it that because I paid for TV at my house, uh, and I don't watch TV, my mom actually, or my parents technically, 
paid for the phone service because we're all on a family pan still. And uh, she was paying the, this phone, this iPhone off for like a year, two years maybe. Stupid expensive for something that just overheats now, like I said. If I do anything more than just look at like Twitter, even then it still overheats actually. It's usually just if the screen's on. Well, sometimes. And then if I lock the screen, uh, Discord crashes, so then I stop actually being able to talk to people still. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Things like the crash in the background. All right, what do we got? Carlot has a new addition to their inventory. Neato. Let's do another. I do not want to do a drag race. No, thank you. Give me Earl. I also want more money. Cause shit, if we only have one more car left to use, actually, like I said, I don't know. Um, an iPad. I've never used an iPad in my life. I've only used iPhones and one iPod. I had an iPod Touch second generation. Hello, Celica. <laughs> Goodbye, Celica. Hell yeah, easy money. The only way to get a decent amount of money in this game. And you still don't get enough, but it's fine. Everything is fine. I don't even know how many URLs I'm actually supposed to win in this stage. Yeah. Like I said, I just always use my computer to watch stuff. Because then I can listen to it on my headphones, or I can listen to it on uh, my home theater system if it's something I want to do that. Uh, yeah. I like having the bigger screen, for sure. Bigger screen and also not having to hold my phone. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, poop. Okay, we're good. Background audio, understandable. I, yeah, I don't watch YouTube as much as I used to, but there is still some stuff I like to catch every now and then. I still like, oh god, I was looking at the plane. Ah, shit. I was gonna say, I like the... The emissions from the lights on the plane are just squares. Good, good 2004 game. Good effects, I like it. Yeah, so far ahead. Definitely don't know why that is, haha. <laughs> Ah! Actually, I don't know if I want to do my... I don't know. Hard difficulty run? Yeah, totally, yeah. Hard difficulty, you know that's me, to have hard difficulty. I think it's without any, if I remember right. Maybe? I don't know. English is my first language, believe it or not. I don't believe it. English is very strange. I struggle with English language a lot. Speaking German? Oh, that's fun. German is also quite the language. Uh, it's gonna be a three race one. It's just three laps. Three laps is three races, four laps is two races, and five laps is one race. I've learned for this game. Oh, if you're doing a uh, one of these URLs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> it 
It really just, yeah. Like, angry German is terrifying to listen to. Absolutely. <laughs> and I don't mean terrifying like as in... I'm trying to be an asshole about it. I mean, like, it's just like... As somebody who doesn't know, like, any German at all... Just hearing it's like, oh... You know, it makes you think about things for a second. Think about what you did wrong. Nitras. Oh, jeez. Careful. Not careful. Nitras. Ah, jeez. Oh, God. Alrighty. One race down. Very nice. I'll look at my phone for a second. Alright, continue. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, but I, 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 I understand. <laughs> I don't understand, but I do understand, you know? Salika? That is a very interesting color palette on that Celica, to say the least. Hello, Mustang. Goodbye, Mustang. The wheels were also purple. That's the part that, like, kind of blew me away. Just, you know, the cherry on top of, of the whole thing. <laughs> oh, God. Just imagine, we get to go from this to, like, the grimy uh, style of Most Wanted next. Everything's colorful, and then everything's just bleh. GT Sport. Yeah, I need to, I actually need to play more GT Sport. And by that I mean more of the single player because I'm not a multiplayer person still. But I do like the single player. I did have some fun with that. I haven't actually even started my PS4 for a hot minute. Wall well, right. That works. I could never be an online racer. I suck too bad. <laughs> and it also just gives me anxiety, so... <laughs> I tend to avoid it for... a few reasons. Not just one. Yeah, I've heard that too. People do be a little dumb in online racing. I don't know if I consider. I, I don't remember what the AI was like whenever I played it. Maybe they are easy. I don't remember thinking that they were easy, but like I said, it has been a hot minute. Yeah, no. Is Racer Seven online? That's an interesting one. I would like to play Ridge Racer games at some point. Because I don't really know anything about Ridge Racer. Um, but I have to actually play Ridge Racer to do that, so... I have to figure out a time. Let's do what Ryan's doing. Eh, someday. Probably, maybe. Possibly. I do like playing through games, and I do like seeing that 100%. You know? Figure learning challenges. I don't. I don't remember. 
I don't remember what GT Sport has. Oh. Damn the race, by the way. Uh, I think it was like 75 hours total. And now he's done with Red Racer 4. <laughs> Type 4. Nice wall ride. Which is a little crazy for a PlayStation 1 game. Like, you think that Gran Turismo 2 is long and it takes like... 60, 70 hours, and then Ridge Racer takes 75 plus. That's ridiculous. All right. Yeah, it was only eight tracks, yeah. Ow. I would assume it would get a little repetitive for sure. Just a little. Ryan is gifted at stay, stay, staying sane while playing video games and trying them, you know, going through them on the hardest difficulty and also getting 100%. It's uh, something I wish I had because <laughs> I, I get frustrated with games and I, you know, I don't like to be mad at stuff. So I usually just end up not dealing with it if I'm getting frustrated with it. So, like, I don't stop doing it, but I, I, I definitely do want to, like, take a break, usually. Or else I will actually go insane. Insane in the membrane. So, I commend him on being able to do that, for sure. If nobody else will, he will, you know? I still want to try, though. Well, with certain things. Not necessarily the hardest difficulty and stuff, but... I like to try, at least. Throw my hat in the ring. Um, good question. I actually don't know. Yeah, I don't mind, like, easy difficulty in games. and I'm here for the experience of the game. You know? And that's about it. Like, even earlier on, I didn't really even care about 100%ing stuff too much. And now I'll at least like look into it and try if I think it won't be incredibly stupid. Uh, but not always. Just the fact that I, the fact that I 100 percent in Midnight Club 3 is good enough for me forever. <laughs> yeah, same here. Absolutely. Oh, no car unlocked. All right, what do we, what do we got for? Uh, oh, eighty-one percent. What do we got for? Uh, so we need nine URL events. Yeah, like, well, the thing about games like that is that at least I can easily keep track of like my percentage and what I need to do in the game. Oh, oh, oh fuck. There we go. Cutscene. You know what you have to do, girl. I don't want to see any piece of that car across the finish line. I won't have to do anything more than drive. He's nothing but a showboat and loser. Don't underestimate him. Do whatever, and I mean whatever it takes to tear him apart. Don't let me down. I'm counting on you, Nikki. Nikki? That's not Nikki. That's not Nikki from Need for Speed Carbon. What the hell? Yeah, uh, yeah, the quote-unquote story of this game that everybody who plays Need for Speed totally knows about because it's such a great story, you know? <laughs> a captivating story. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, Midnight Club 3 was actually 
fairly easy to commit to 100%ing just because of uh, it's, you know, it's very easy to see what you have and haven't done in relations to, like, oh, progression. And also, it throws money at you pretty easily, and you can also get money pretty easily in the game, so it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't ask me what goes on in the story in this game. I've been playing it for 21 hours and I have no idea. I just know we like sneak into the airfield to make races and stuff, so that's cool. Cargo fastman races, exactly. That's the only story I need. That's why I think like Test Drive Unlimited 1 has my favorite story of any game, because you're like some rich asshole that wants to move to Hawaii and race cars and live in big fancy houses with lots of fancy cars. And that is a great story, honestly. Super captivating. I love it. Another two and a half men. I didn't. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't actually know that. He is very much living a life. Or he or she, depending on which character you pick, I guess. And it's also not like poorly done, and at least in Test Drive Unlimited 1. Uh, or they didn't try to overdo it like TDU 2 at least. Yeah, it does have a selectable characters. You can't really do much with them. You can change some clothing options, and that's about it. But you do have characters to pick from. Also, yeah, I was going to say, I, I... I don't know if I've ever actually watched a full episode of Two and a Half Men. <laughs> Not really for any particular reason, and I'm, I'm just like not really interested. Oh jeez, not paying attention. Oh my god, we're good. I survived. I will survive. Kind of. I don't know how I did that, and then screwed it up at the easier corner that I just literally had to slow down for. That's what I do. That's how good I am. Absolute skills. Everybody knows I'm the most skilled Need for Speed Underground 2 player there is, obviously. <clears throat> Looks back at me attempting that drag race for 40 minutes or whatever it was. God. That's another 3 race. Oh god. 3 race uh, URL. Yay! You know it. Yeah, you won't, you won't see my name on the speedrun.com leaderboards at all because I, yeah. I have lore. <laughs> I don't have lore. My only lore is that I like weird Chryslers and uh, original Xbox games. That's my lore. I actually thought about making it, like, lore-related stuff at one point, but I was like, eh, I don't have the fucking brain cells for that. And not necessarily, I guess it would technically be lore, but... It was also very, uh, dumb, so... Oh, this is a short track, okay. I'll take it. 40-some second lap, alright. Yes, I do go fast. That is correct. I also like to be comfy. That's part of my lore too. Oh jeez. Always comfy. Oh please. Yeah. The hoodie explains it all. I need to get more hoodies. 
I need more designs and things. Maybe that'll happen soon. We'll see. Things will ch get changed up a little bit somewhere, somehow. <laughs> I have never put any thought into making any kind of merch for anything. I guess I could someday, but... I'll just sell blue hoodies. And also one with a pumpkin. <laughs> I need my ears. You can't just... I can't sell those. Watch Dogs? I've never played Watch Dogs or Sleeping Dogs. Uh, I own Sleeping Dogs, uh, but I never played it, and I don't think I own any of the Watch Dogs games. I don't think. Steam sales be a little wacky and make me forget that I have certain games. I did watch somebody's review of Sleeping Dogs though a while ago. I don't remember really anything about the game from that, but hey, you got another short, short track. Cool. Time is it? 9.30? Uh... Uh, I don't know actually. It's a good question. I don't really know the lore of Watch Dogs or Driver. All I know is that I've played quite a bit of Driver San Francisco and it's a fun game. That's like all I know about Driver in general. Yeah, I probably will someday. I don't know when, but someday. I would definitely like to play them. So this is driver three. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to I'd like to play the driver games too. Isn't Watch Dogs actually well it's not like super old, like 2014 it came out or something like that? It's like not exactly a new game. I know there's Watch Dogs 2. Is there Watch Dogs 3? I don't know. I don't remember any of this. I do actually own Driver Parallel Lines on PC, funny enough. Uh, it was on sale on a uh, an Ubisoft game launcher thing, and I bought it. It was like a dollar and a half or something. But I believe that's the only driver I actually have. I mean, I think I actually have one on PS1 emulator, but that's not... that doesn't matter. Oh, the nitrous. Use it all. Yay. I did it. Eight points. Alright, do I unlock cars? Oh, fuck. I told you! Do whatever it takes! What part of that didn't sink in? Get out of my face! I race straight up! You better remember who you're talking to. Or what? I don't need you. Oh, really? What are you gonna do without me? You're nothing. It's only a matter of time before I run the whole show. <sighs> I'll make sure you don't. Oh my goodness. What a story arc. Wow. Wacky. Incredible. <laughs> what a story arc. Uh, I think the Skyline was the only car I'd left, left to unlock, by the way. I'm going to assume that's what I unlocked. We'll do this, uh, do this last race here, too. Or last series of races. Oh, can this be just a single race, please? Technical drawing teacher. He's pretty basic, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, how many laps are we gonna have? Give me five laps. Fuck! Three laps. It's gonna be three races again. Damn it. 
I start in the back? Why? I hate it here. Later, gamers. Oh, shit. Caleb is a basic bitch. Like, I thought I was a basic bitch. Caleb is a basic bitch. 100%. Oh, hey, <laughs> you're sabotaging each other. Very nice. At least I don't have to do it. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't really go fast. I mean, I think we'll see how fast he is at some point, but I do go fast, it seems. Apparently, no. I'm so bold. So I think what I'll do to make sure I can do everything before the like I do the final whatever happens in this game, uh, I'm going to do everything for stage five except for one URL event, and then we'll save that for the very end. And I'll make sure that I have everything else done that I possibly can in the game. Because we're getting there. We're like 80-something percent. All this stuff. <laughs> That's a little mean, but you know what? I'll let it slide. <laughs> uh, stream is not frozen on my end. It'd still be playing. It's like super low quality, but still playing. It's actually not even delayed, so I don't think it froze at all. Okay. Probably just some little glitch. Of some sort. So I guess uh, maybe I'll commit to having the Subaru as like a an absolutely fully upgraded car whenever I get around to getting it. Forty sec, yeah, yeah. Whatever happened there, that was uh, a little strange for sure. Like everything froze for a minute, and then everything got sad, including me. Always sad. Uh, I have no idea. I think it was just my computer got kind of overloaded for a second, and then, uh, things froze for a second, and then that freeze kind of screwed things up and screwed OBS up. That's my best guess. I really don't know, honestly. Oh, goodbye, G35. Yeah. Yeah, because that, well, the footage was okay. Um, it did lag quite a bit at whatever point that was. And I did have to restart the recording, but the recording still worked out fine. And I think that was even a part that I cut out because I was like just driving to an event somewhere. Yes, that was auto modelista. Because <laughs> I had the. Well, I didn't even actually have to redo what I did, what I redid, even though I did. Because uh, I committed to redoing it, and then I committed to using the stream footage from the VOD. But. God, auto modelista, that was a game. I, can I barely even remember that I played it, for the most part, for whatever reason. It was a cool game, but it didn't really, like, stand out enough for me to, like, remember it that much. Pretty much. Art style, cool. Everything else, eh, game, you know. It was game. Uh, 
Excuse me. Nice power slide. A little bit of a sun there. Auto Medalisa, exactly. Uh, but yeah. I've heard the Japanese version is better. I might play it on stream at some point just to play it. Triple easy, yeah. To be fair, it wasn't exactly difficult on the American version either. But it probably was a little bit more difficult than the Japanese version because of the reasons. Which, like, I don't care. I don't care. The difficulty's easy, obviously. Who would have ever thought that? All right. I can imagine if the AI have it, or if the AI didn't change anything, or they didn't change anything about the AI. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Then, yep, I can only imagine how easy that would be then. Yeah, like I said, maybe I'll play through it on stream someday. Try and find it somehow, somewhere. So it would be interesting, at least. Hello, Civic. Another Civic. Oh, fuck. Hello, other, other, other Civic. Hello, G35. Ow. I committed to getting in first, and it worked. I may have kissed the wall a little bit, but it's fine. <laughs> Poor copy. Eh, I can find it. Shouldn't be too hard. Go! Yeah. I haven't even gotten paid from Twitch ever in my life, so... Maybe someday I'll have that. But yeah, I mean, it's because I haven't hit the threshold to get paid, but, you know. Actually, I think I may have just done that, but, like, maybe it's this month I get paid? I, I, I don't know. I'd have to look at it. It would be neat, though, to have an extra whatever money. <laughs> I could put that into... Uh, games. Yeah, I'm a gamer. Yeah. Games over here actually really aren't bad still. Oh, yeah, everything else is more expensive, though. Games aren't really bad still, but yeah, everything else... A little more expensive, for sure. To be fair, I should be getting the money from my car, like, at the beginning of next week, so... I'll finally have money to spend on things. Oh yeah, Australia's ridiculous, like... Even, uh... If you, like, convert what's, like, games cost from there to, like, USD, it's, like, $80 USD for the same game that's, like, 40 or $50 here. And it's... What? It's, like... I don't even know how that happens. Jesus, 120. Oh yeah, it's like a hundred dollars. Yeah, hundred US dollars. It's ridiculous. I don't understand why. I don't know if it's like importing fees or what. Six hundred dollars for a 360. Wow, that is a lot of money for a 360. That's uh yeah, a little bit of money for sure. Delayed a year and more expensive. Incredible. Good job, Australia. I say as a person that, like, I'm like, oh yeah, if I fly out of the country, I'd probably go to Australia. That would probably be the country I would go to. Hmm. 
Yeah, I can imagine. I would not want to pay that much money for that stuff. I would probably cry. Like, just straight up cry. And I think it's still pretty bad too, isn't it? Like, they never actually really changed it. Or is it worse? Because, I don't know. I don't know much about the, the pricing of things in Australia. I just know the government is kind of weird about things. And twenty dollars for a new copy of COD Four, jeez. That's just sad, honestly. Yeah, I paid like. Eight dollars for Call of Duty 4 on Steam around that same time, I think. No, maybe more than that. Maybe it was like 15. Just a just a few dollars, you know. And I was buying original Xbox games in like 2010 for like four dollars. Something like that. Alrighty, there we go. 24 points. I believe that we shouldn't get any ring-a-ding-dings, correct? Yep, okay. So, for those of you watching this on YouTube, once again, this will be the end of this episode. I will actually probably take a picture of this car of some sort for a uh, thumbnail because I need to do that. Didn't take a picture of the Mustang, but that's fine. I'll figure that out. I'll just use a screenshot from something. But, thank you. All so much on YouTube for watching this episode of Underground 2. And I shall see you all in the next one where we will pick up our final unique to this game car, at least compared to Underground 1. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.